Hello again everyone, Konius here. Today I'm flying from Tallahassee, Florida to Tampa, Florida. It's just after noon local time here in Tallahassee. Uh, it looks very overcast, I see some raindrops. Um, I have adjusted my video settings. I noticed after one or two of the last patches that my settings had all reverted to super low so I've set everything back up to high or ultra. So we'll see if that looks better. It was especially noticeable in the really bad anti-aliasing. Some of my uh, last couple of my videos. I have set a flight level of 7,500 feet. I want to see if I can get above the clouds. So let's go ahead and get started. Not sure why the game's locking up there, but that happens. All right, we can uh, lift off now. Put up the landing gear. All right, I'll start turning in the direction of the heading, but we also want to get our flaps up. So I need to pull back on the stick. Maintain my altitude. Tower KH-377 continue for south departure. Alright, we are making our turn into the heading. It is a very gray day, so really can't see very much. Let's hope that once we get up to the 7,500 feet, we can actually see something. So we're mostly on heading. Let's go ahead and turn autopilot on. Yaw damper on. Alright, that will fix up the heading perfectly for us. And at the same time, we do want to head up to our target altitude. I can go ahead and turn that on. Just double check the barometer setting. Okay, that was off. So I think we're pretty much automatic at this point. I believe the Garmin will take care of us here. Tower KH377 frequency change. Tallahassee approach KH377 is type beach craft king air four miles southeast of Tallahassee. There is just nothing to Request see. Flight of following. I like taking my learning to fly tour flights with real-time weather and real-time traffic. I figured that will expose me to a bunch of different conditions. I've had rainbows, I've had lightning. Uh, soon I'm hoping to experience snow and sleet and all that kind of stuff when they make the next, next update. So a little bit of land breaking through the clouds. Okay, autopilot is still zeroing in on the exact course for us, so it's about to make a turn, probably. And we'll keep the throttle up until we level off at our target altitude, which we have a ways to go until. As a pilot, you'd have to really trust your instruments and get used to not being able to see anything. Now I know in the past, when I've tried to take off from my local airport, uh, Buchanan Field in Concord, California, when it was smoky during the California wildfires, I wasn't given clearance because I didn't have uh, IFR clearance. That hasn't happened with the fog, so I'm not sure if they've changed something or maybe I'm not really aware of the rules regarding that. In any case, without the instruments, I would be lost without advanced skills in navigation and trusting, you know, older, simpler instruments like the one at the top center there. Okay, 
Alright, well we will soon level off. Oh, and look at that. There we are. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Get up above the clouds. Beautiful. Alright, so now we're leveling off. I'm going to pull the throttle back to center point for now. <laughs> I'll adjust as necessary, but we'll probably get up to a reasonable speed at this point. And it's really nice to have gotten out of that gray and up into blue sky. We're going to be flying over water for a lot of the time, so we might not have been able to see that anyway if we stayed at a lower altitude. Okay, so I think we're stable. I'm going to go outside. Trying out another one of the new liveries. It looks beautiful. I'm especially interested in the reflections. Still essentially testing out my graphics card, NVIDIA, the, uh, the uh, 2080 Ti. So I'm curious about reflections and ray tracing and whatnot. Not exactly sure what to look for in terms of ray tracing other than a reflection from something that's completely out of frame. Anyway, I'm going to reset the view here. So it's, it's a little uh, it's a little bumpy at this altitude. Let's go up a little higher. I think that might actually help. Let's reset this view. Let's set our target at another thousand feet up. Need to uh, there we go. So we'll set it to 8,500. So it's not going to go there yet until I actually set flight level change. And then I'll need to give it some extra throttle if it's going to be able to nose up a little. So I'm going to try to very carefully do that without exceeding the torque limit on the engine. I'm always exceeding over here, but we'll try. Alright, well, we, <coughs> we are gaining altitude a little bit slow, but that's okay. would like to see if I can get above the current set of clouds. I'm going to go back outside while it takes care of that. Just have to keep an eye on my throttle and pull it back to midpoint once we actually level off. So, there is not much to see. Oh, I'm getting something there. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow. I really like this livery, that's one of my favorite colors. Um, and it just kind of matches the sky in some ways, so I really like that. I'm going to be continuing to try different ones. I downloaded the livery Mega Pack 12, I think it was. So we've been going through them. I would like to find out how to create my own, that might be kind of nice. Create <coughs> Criticonius Airlines livery. They must have some tools to, to make that possible. Okay, so we're probably going to level off now. Uh, still got the engine high. Let me check on the torque. As long as we're not over torquing it, I think I'll leave it. Ooh, somebody just sped by really fast. Uh, wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're not over torquing. We're about as high as we can go RPM wise before we start to over torque. So I think we're okay. If I notice that we're getting too fast, I'll pull back the throttle. But I think we're fighting against some of the wind conditions. I do feel like it might make sense to go up a little higher. Let's try 10,000 feet. It'd be nice to get out of all of this. Alright, there we go, nosing up. Going to 
Resetting the view. Let's look overhead down below us. Uh, yeah, nothing to see there. Nothing to see behind us. I think I can look up. Yep. Okay, I can see the sun over there. I'm starting to get out of the thickest part of the clouds, I think. I'm going to reset the view again. Sometimes the view doesn't perfectly center when I reset it. I don't know why. Okay, 10,000 may not be high enough. So let's try 12,000. As long as I catch it before it locks in, it will pick up the change here. We'll go to 12,500. How about that? Alright, so it's still in flight level change mode here. So we'll continue nosing up. Resetting this view. Going back outside. That's it's really beautiful and majestic. But I want to get over it. I want to be looking down at it. I want to be able to actually see what I'm doing. Once there's something to actually see and explore, I'll go out and drone. But until then, the focus is really on getting up to a good altitude. I'm going to hit B for the barometer, just because that changes often. Alright, well, we're heading up at a good rate. 12,500 might not be enough. After that, I'll have to drop back down and the land and I'll have to kind of figure out how long I can stay up there. That may not be enough. Yeah, I just want to break through again a little bit. Reaching for my pilot's thermos full of hot coffee. Thousand feet to go, so let's see, let's see where we get. Okay, a little bit breaking through again, but not too much. Oh wow, that is spectacular! Okay, I'm gonna go to the.
how beautiful this cloud field is. It's really pretty. <coughs> Again, it feels like we have to go a little higher. So I'm going to go off the drone first, then inside. Okay, so let's go up another couple of thousand feet. Uh, if I can get this turnable. So we'll go up to, let's say, 15,000. Jackson Mail Center, United 1788 is out of flight level 3, 20 for 10,000 feet. Go back outside. Mail Center, continue as planned. So I'm really just trying to zero in on how high up I need to be to get over all these clouds. set to ultra, or it's like a little bit of visual artifact, I could probably set it up to ultra. I noticed with volumetric clouds on ultra that the performance goes way down. So this might be good enough. I'm not sure what the top altitude for this plane is. I'm sure 15,000 is fine. I'd love to know if I can go even higher. So we're continuing on our climb up to 15,000. I've not had to do much with the throttle. Right at the upper limit where the engine starts to work. Okay, so I gotta do something about the ice. Uh, this is not good. Wow. So, windshield anti ice on the pilot and on the co pilot and on the propeller and you have to assume that that. Oh, those are interoperative. Okay, fine. Break DI, surface DI. Okay, I think that's all right for now. Um, I should probably try to warm up the cabin. Okay, that's inoperative. Uh, 
Yeah, I've tried to do this before. I haven't figured out how to turn on the pilot heat properly. If it warns me about it, I'll do something. Uh, I'm not sure if the ice... I think the ice is starting to clear. You know, at some point it probably would actually have begun interfering with the flight of the plane. Yeah, it's clearing up. All right. Cool. Uh, let me reset the Garmin here. I hit something. I know that if you do this and toggle back, it'll go re reset itself. So reset this view. Outside. So we're inching towards our 15,000 feet. It's still not enough. Well, there's. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at the sun. Wow. Okay, we've reached our 15,000 feet. It does seem to be kind of a plateau in terms of the cloud tops. I'm gonna go, uh, we'll say, first reset this view. Let's go back inside. Uh, so we're good on ice. I noticed, however, that we don't seem to be heading in the right course. So if I look at the airplane, oops. I look at the airplane here. It's not straight on the course line. So I'm wondering if I accidentally turned off uh, navigation. No, navigation's on. Um, altitude hold mode is on. The on damper is on. Autopilot's on. So I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm not going to worry about it. It seems like we're not increasingly getting away from our heading, so maybe it has to do with fighting the wind or something. Okay, the other thing I notice is we're almost at in the red on the RPM, so I'm going to pull back a little bit on the engine. But we got to a point where we could actually speed up quite a bit. Probably means the air, the air is more still. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really don't understand the deviation here, but uh, maybe the VFR map might indicate something. A lot of planes around. I mean, it looks like we're on course, just rotated a little bit. A little bit of a yaw rotation there, so I think we're okay. Alright, so it took quite a while to get up to this altitude. It wouldn't take quite as long to drop, but I'm going to begin descending. Now that we've seen this beautiful cloud space. I'm going to begin descending and get ready to land in a little bit. So let's go back inside. Reset this view. So I will start with a drop from 15,000 to 12,000. Let's try that first. need to get make this rotatable. So set this to 13,000. I'm looking here. Alright. Flight level change. And it's not really going to do anything yet until I back off the throttle. And then it will make up the speed by dropping the nose. So I'm going to drop it not all the way, just somewhat. Give it some room to pick up speed getting kind of bumpy. Not surprising. We're heading back into the thicker weather. If we look outside, it's going to just be gray. We're going to see the airplane just bouncing around quite a bit, I think. Looks like another airplane right there. I had tags turned on. I need to figure out why those t got turned off. I'd like to be able to see who's out there. Another one. So this feels a little bumpy. If I was a first-time small airplane passenger, I might be a little nervous with the bumpiness. I know it's actually fine. The only time I've ever actually flown in a small plane, it was a three-seater Moody, or Mooney, I forget which. What I remember was the first 500 feet off the ground were super bumpy, and then you got to a point where the air was smooth and you could fly around. And then on landing, it was the same thing, that last 500 feet was very bumpy. Uh, kind of like this. So where are we in our progress? So we're still in flight level change mode, which means we've not gotten there yet. We're still too high. Um, why is that? Do I have that set wrong? 13,000? We're at 15,000. I think I maybe need to drop throttle some more. The flight director, though, is saying that we want to go f straight forward, so I'm kind of confused by that. That's on. Um, I'll try dropping the throttle some more and see if that, see what effect that has. Okay, the flight director, which is that magenta arrow, is now pointing down. Okay, now we're going to descend. That was the problem. I just hadn't dropped throttle enough. I'm not sure if I just saw a lightning flash or an airplane whizzing by at light speed. Probably not. Wait, what? Did it say landing gear? Uh, okay, you know what? I might not know where I'm at. This could be bad. I'm gonna turn off autopilot. If I can, disengage. Why can't I disengage the autopilot? And I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna nose up because I don't know where we are, and that's a little scary when it's saying landing gear. I know Florida's flat, so we shouldn't be... American 163, six contact Jacksonville Center, on shouldn't really be somewhere where we'd be hitting anything, so I'm kind of confused by that. Uh, maybe I misheard landing gear, but I'm, I certainly thought I heard that. Uh, I don't see the radar showing our... 
right our height, and so I don't really know what our actual height above ground is. Um, according to the Garmin, though, I mean, uh, our horizon line is very clear of any of the land there, so I don't know. I'm now starting to see some lightning. Uh, what are we? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and nose down. Um, let's see if I hear that landing gear warning again. KH three seven seven contact Jacksonville Center on one three three decimal three two five. Maybe that was some kind of a fluke. I mean, we one shouldn't three be three about to hit three, a two mile high KH three seven seven whatever mountain three mile high mountain. Jacksonville Center KH three seven seven fourteen thousand three hundred feet. This is way too high. I really need to get down. Jacksonville Center. Continue as planned. Altimeter three, So we'll just drop and test and see if we get that landing gear thing. I might have just misheard it. It really doesn't make sense that we would be that close to anything. If we crash, though, we'll we'll know why. Okay, so we dropped to our target altitude. I want to keep going down. Now we're getting a little bit off course. That's okay. Going to one two seven decimal eight flex jet three eight three. It'd be nice if you could install a few more different voices. A lot of the pilots and ATC pretty much all sound the same. Okay, so we're clearly not over land here. Um, so I, yeah, I must have imagined that. I'll have to go back and listen, see if I could hear it on the recording. Um, but I don't see any evidence of us, you know, about to hit anything. Okay, so we're just continuing our descent. This actually is going pretty well. It's much easier to go down fast than it is to go up fast, obviously. Uh, I'll continue in this direction to try to close the gap in our heading, our uh, course line. And at the same time, keep nosing down. Gonna hit B for barometer. Okay, yeah, it was a little different. That's fine. Looks like we're closing the gap. Southwest one one two three contact Jacksonville Center on one two seven decimal eight. All right, so we're about to go through another Going gray zone. We're over the water. Uh, you know, as far as I know, altitude-wise, we're fine. It's just a little scary still. A little spooked by that. One two seven decimal eight for southwest. One one two three. Okay, I'm gonna start dropping a little bit less fast, and I'm also going to turn back towards our heading. Kind of closes the gap there. We're good. Uh, we're still over the water. Going to one three two decimal three five spirit. We're down to four thousand feet, which should be good for now. I'm going to probably want to be at two thousand feet to land, get into the landing pattern. I'm going to check the barometer again. Yeah, it's changing a lot, so it's a good idea to check that. Uh, due to the weather. Oops, okay, that was my left hand hitting the left joystick on the Xbox controller. Not a good idea. But that is also a flight stick. Um, looks like I've opened up a gap in our heading again, so let's just try to close that.
think the weather's starting to thin out a little bit here, so it's a little bit more like fog. We might actually be able to see where we're going soon. Jackson, Center, United Start slowing down a little bit more. Uh, I've really learned the virtue United of landing, having you slowed yourself way down first, so I'm going to... This is a little early to slow down, I think. Maybe not, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so we can turn back into our course here. Then I just need to pay attention to it while I'm um, doing everything else. Okay, so you know what? We're actually directly over the water. We, have, do, we do have visibility. So, this is kind of nice. I mean, it's a crappy day, but at least we're actually seeing the terrain. So that tart's good. Okay, I'm dropping a little bit much. Let's go nose up a little bit. That'll also help us get down to a slower speed. I'm not ready for flaps yet, so I'm gonna speed back up a bit. Well, and I'll give it some thrust to get us back up to know, 2,100 feet or so. Okay, I'm seeing the uh, radar altitude now. I guess that works maybe uh, close to the ground. But that confirms that we're not... We, you know, we obviously weren't over something completely. We already have the correct barometer setting. Alright, so I'm trying to keep the same altitude. I'm going to drop throttle a bit more. Now would be the time to start approaching that flap zone, the white strip on the speed ticker tape. Starting to gain altitude again. I, I don't want to hover around 21, 2200 miles north of St. Petersburg. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when inbound. All right, I'm gonna drop throttle some more here. I see land approaching. We've somehow managed to get off of our course again. Tower on 118 decimal tree. Allegiance 8903. I'm not sure why I'm doing that so easily. Maybe because we're close to the destination. But I keep finding myself off course. Okay, so there's the white line showing up on the speed ticker tape. That's what we're heading for. I can put the flaps down once I'm in that space, but I'm not going to put them down yet. I'll wait until I get closer. Okay, we still haven't closed the gap, so it's a little early to turn here. Continue closing. Is closing. Make my left oriented turn in a moment. Did gain a bit of altitude there. I'm not sure which of the vertical ticks on the display indicate level. I think it's this little one, or it might be this one that looks like a dumbbell. I'm not sure which. Somewhere in that area. Okay, looks like we're on course again. Let's straighten out. So we need to turn a little bit more. Okay. I 
Alright, so we have another 10 miles to go before the co-pilot will contact the tower asking for landing permission. Uh, we're at a good speed. In a way, it seems like maybe it makes sense to stay under 150 knots when you're over residential areas. Maybe I saw that in an earlier pop-up when I was first playing the game. I could be making that up, but I th thought I remembered something like that. So, I'm trying to get used to going slower when I'm coming in for a landing. It really does help. So we seem to be doing a good job of maintaining speed and altitude. outside for a minute. The view doesn't want to be centered for some reason when I reset it, but that's okay. I've seen that happen before. Okay, again with the getting off course. I think maybe we're getting blown by the wind off course. Maybe that's what's going on. I feel like I'm steering off course. In fact, that would explain why the airplane was rotated slightly earlier. I guess it was fighting against a wind, a slight headwind or something. An off angle headwind. Okay, I've dropped a little bit too much altitude. Let's nose up and turn some speed into height Tampa here. approach KH377. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. KH-377 Tampa approach. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through Bravo airspace KH-377. Okay, so it's not clear to me, should I put the flaps down now? Because I don't need them to maintain the speed. I really only need them to slow down and land. So I could just wait until I get closer. Uh, and that'll save fuel, save digital fuel. I'm getting blown off course again, but that's alright. I think if maybe if I also kind of tilt a little bit, it'll help me stay. Again, trying to maintain all of these things. Heading, altitude, Dropping altitude again. Um, the landing pattern will probably be having us enter up in the low 2000s, so let me hop up there again. Tampa approach Allegiant 971 is climbing through 3,000 feet for 11,000 feet. Allegiant 971 Tampa approach continued as of a missed plan. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 04. Okay, yeah, with uh, turning slightly to the right in my course, I do seem to be staying on heading. Just thought I saw a lightning flash. Tampa Tower KH-377 is 1-1 one, one miles northwest with India to land. KH-377 Tampa Tower. Make straight and runway 19 or right. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero seven wind calm. Zero seven, okay. Change that. Fly straight in runway 19 or right KH tree seven seven. Alright, we should have a landing pattern thing show up for us here. Alright, I need to go over there. Kinda never know where exactly it's gonna show up. I 
think maybe I need to contact ATC on my own before uh, I'm waiting for the co-pilot so I don't to, we don't wait till the last minute. Okay, I think I'll just sort of turn okay, that's a little crazy. Turn towards the entrance and the landing gear really should be down at this point. So I'll turn towards the entrance. I don't know why this is so fidgety. I guess it's the air, the stormy air or something. Um, okay, I also think it's time to put the flaps down. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to throttle up to account for that. Push forward hard on the stick to keep altitude. Too fast, but we'll uh, we'll be able to slow down. I wonder if do I need to turn off the de-icing since I don't need it. Probably it's okay to not worry about that. All right, so I've got the landing gear down. I've got the flaps down all the way. Dropping a little bit in speed. I'm going to give it some more thrust. A little early to be dropping. Alright, so we can now steer into this thing. And then he said it was straight in, so it kind of looks like it's straight in, alright. Yeah. Alright, well that looks good. Okay, I'm just trying to get myself here in, in the middle. Okay, the wind seems calm in this direction, so I think we're good. Too fast, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna... And we're speeding up because we're starting to descend now at this kind of steepish angle, so I'm going to drop throttle. Uh, I'd like to be between 100 and 110 right now. Looks like there's somebody here with me. There is somebody here with me. Wow, that's cool. You can follow them in. We're still going way too fast though. It's that descent angle. So I know now that I'm thinking about it, I'm also going to wiggle my uh, joystick, my uh, Xbox joystick, so it doesn't turn off and cause the game to pause. Okay, I'm going to keep dropping throttle. We're still going way too fast. KH-377 cleared to land runway 19 or right. Number three for landing. Number three for landing. Follow the aircraft okay. on final. All right. Wind calm. This is cool. I've never been in Clear line to land, to land like this before. Nighter, right this is three, really cool. KH three seven seven. I wonder if there's somebody behind me coming in. This must be a very busy airport. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little far to the left. I would like to center my view on the runway. I think that would help with landing. I tend to end up hugging the left side for some reason. I think if I centered my own view so the plane itself won't, will be a little bit offset to the right, I might have an easier time landing. So uh, it's not quite centered, it's better. I'm going to do a little bit more in that respect. I do also need to slow down some more. I need to start that slowing down quickly here. 
Uh, also, being in line, I might have somebody behind me. I may have to get off of the runway pretty quickly. Oh, did he just go around, or what? I don't know. Might have, he might have just gone around. Okay, again, trying to get myself centered on this tarmac. I'm going to drop throttle a little bit more. Uh, I'll pick it up again if it feels like we're going too slow. because there's somebody on the runway. Going around KH-377. Okay, I had to quickly go full throttle and then nose down because we were about to stall. I'm going to go uh, landing gear, landing gear landing up gear, landing gear, landing and landing gear. flaps up because we need to get some speed here. Get our asses out of here. Whoa. Okay, I'm over torquing the engines, so it's a little bit of a panic on my part. Okay, we finally got some speed. We we're very close to stalling. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that. Uh, maybe a momentum thing. And I wonder, is it giving us the pathway to go around? Maybe. I know we're going too fast, but I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to get myself situated again. So that's the first time I've followed somebody in, and the first time I've had a go around order. Very interesting. So I'm going to get a little far away from this and look at it from a distance and see what I'm supposed to do. It pulled up that different kind of landing marker, which I'm not used to. So I want to kind of see what that's all about. So I'll go a little bit further away and then turn back and we'll check it, check it out. Okay, I don't really need to go up any higher, I think, at this point. I could land at the Air Force Base, but that wasn't the original plan. Okay, put throttle at midpoint. We're making an awfully sharp turn here. That's probably really unsafe to do that at that angle. So. Glad I managed to keep control over that. I uh, don't see where the airport is anymore. Whoa, okay, I think I'm being a little hard on this plane. I need to be a little careful. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure where to go. Oh, I see, right there. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to turn around, circle to the right, uh, get my speed down, and then enter the landing pattern again and try it again. Yep, landing gear we need for sure. Once I'm going at the right speed, I'll drop the flaps. Okay, I'm going to start turning. Getting altitude. OK, 
Okay, I'm just looking for the landing pattern. I'm not finding it. Just up throttle a little bit because we're dropping at speed too much. Um, hmm. Okay, I saw it a minute ago. Really don't know. I think we have to request a land clearance, landing clearance again. Oh, well now I'm seeing something. Okay, I mean, where am I supposed to go? This pattern is insane. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, the pattern entry is seven miles over that way. Okay. All right, well, we will head over there. See a bunch of other planes around. Maybe the problem is congestion. been a very unusual flight. All the cloud stuff having to go up to a, such a high altitude and then congestion at the airport having to pull around or whatever you call it. Go around. Uh, I hope I can figure out how to land. I see the pointer for the entry so I'll just head over to that pointer. Uh, okay we're at a good altitude now so I want to stop dropping and give it a little bit more thrust. to maintain altitude and then I will turn towards that pattern entry. Okay, that's better. My view wasn't quite uh, centered. Okay, good. 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 Okay, and so where, which one is the one I'm finding? I'm following the guy blinking ahead of me? That's too far away. It must be somebody who's already in the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, because I assume uh, it would be somebody closer. in this airplane with all these harsh stick movements. Yeah, I really don't see where I'm supposed to go to land. guess right here? That's, I'm going way too fast, obviously. I'm going to have to go around again. That's alright. Patience is a virtue when you're flying. A virtue that I am working on. So, we'll figure it out. Better safe than sorry. So I'm going to try to maintain altitude and then kind of circle back and see if I can get into that pattern. I see somebody blinking ahead of us somewhere. Oh, that's just the light. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go outside and look back. Yeah, it's just really confusing as heck to figure out where I'm supposed to go. I really don't see where I'm supposed to go, but we'll, we'll try.
Alright, so I decided to go around left instead of around right, because it looked like the pattern was kind of on the other side of that whole area. So, we'll give that a try. I'm gaining altitude again, I don't want to do that. Looks like the entry is pointing to the very last bracket, not the very first one. So that's what's confusing me. I just can't tell exactly where I'm supposed to enter into the landing pattern. Alright, being a little bit gentler on the plane, I think part of that was just a panic reaction or something. Yeah, it's just really hard to tell, but I'll head over there and see what I can figure out. I mean, maybe what I should do is just say screw it and just find my own route into the into the runway. Whoa, what's going on there? Gust of wind or something. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down and just hope that I can figure out what I'm supposed to do here. I'll just follow the brackets around the other way and then try to turn around into them or something. life, air traffic control would be very frustrated with folks at this point, not able to figure out how to land their plane. But, you know, what can I say? Alright, so it's going to want me to, I guess, turn into that particular runway, different runway than we asked for. I think that's part of the reason why the landing pattern is confusing, because before it was kind of a straight-in thing. I'm giving it some more throttle, we started slowing down too much. Uh, we shouldn't be going this slow until we're actually in the landing pattern. Hear those engines working hard. Okay, I'm over torquing it here. Let's pull back on that. At some point I'll turn and see if I can figure out where to where to go. I guess I need to wait a while though. thinking maybe I could contact ATC and ask for landing clearance again and maybe the pattern would go back to a normal pattern but I tried that before it didn't work so um, we'll 
we'll see. Maybe I'll try that again. I'd really like to just get into the pattern that it's given us and see if I can land this plane. Okay, I think we can begin turning now. Okay, so it feels like the entrance is in sight, and I just have to try to resolve these brackets in 3D space. It's a little confusing. Um, but I think I need to basically make a right, a clockwise U-turn to go into it. It's going to go a little further out, and then I'll make that turn. Uh, but at this point, I'm close enough, I know where it is. Let's try the ATC thing. Let's see if they'll let us, you know, uh, redo our, our request. It's hard to do that and control the stick at the same time. And I don't want to cancel. Okay, I'll just stick with it. We'll try to make it work. Okay, I'm going to turn some more. Let's see if I can start making my way into that pattern. It's just very hard to tell exactly where it is and all that. It's very confusing. <laughs> it looks like they want you to enter and then do a complete 360 around the whole loop of the thing. It seems a little silly. Um, I'll go a little further and then try to rotate my way into it. Okay, I'm dropping too much altitude, so let's convert some speed into altitude here. And then let's start turning in the direction, try to fold into this. Uh, I just feel, I feel like there's too many lines, so it's kind of hard to resolve what is where. I'm going to drop throttle to midway point. Okay, but I think the ones that say too fast indicate where the actual path is. Okay, I'm drop throttle some more, try to get our speed down. I think we're okay here. We still have landing clearance. We aren't in the position that they told us to be in, but I can't do anything about that. Okay, this looks like it's going to work though. Um, I'm going to try to hug the right side now instead of the left side. Try to keep my visual center on the very center of the landing path. Okay, we're not descending very much yet. I think when we turn we'll begin descending a little faster. For barometer, Let's see what that does. Nothing, no change. Okay, good. Okay, we're starting to drop in speed. I'm going to give it some more thrust. I'd like to stay closer to 110 until we've made that turn. Dropping speed too much, I'm going to give it some more thrust. I'll need to pull back on it once we're descending faster. Although we're 
a little high now, so we're probably going to descend kind of quickly. Let me pull back on the throttle, put it at the midpoint, and get some of that speed through. Let's change in altitude. Uh, the turn will slow us down a little. I believe. Kind of a sharp turn. I really often don't know how safe an angle I can go. These turns seem awfully sharp sometimes. So it seems like you don't have much choice but to make a big sharp turn like that. Okay, I'm heading over to hook the right side again. Okay, we're going too fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. As you can see by those red lines, we're, we're too fast to be able to actually do the landing approach there. Okay, the landing gear is still down. Pulling back on the throttle. We're going to try to get now down closer to 105, I guess. Uh, we're not dropping. So we're going to continue dropping in altitude, so I'm going to go down most of the way on the throttle, pull it back up if we slow down too much. Okay, we are slowing down too much. <laughs> okay, well this seems doable. We're not really going too fast, so... This seems doable. I'd okay, like to get my visual center on the tarmac. Uh, and then keep this thing centered, and then watch my speed. We're going too fast. Okay, I've dropped the throttle. Try to get some speed down. A little hard to tell how close I am to the tarmac. I feel like I'm on a good approach. I'm not dropping much speed. I need a little bit more. Go around? Really? No, I'm not going around. I'm not following their instructions. I just want to land. Okay, throttle all the way down. Try to hover. I didn't do a good job of hovering. I realize that, but sorry. This has just been going on for too long. Uh, flaps down. KH377, you are not cleared to land. Clear the runway. Okay, I will. I promise. Let's slow down. I mean, I'm following the path it gave me, so. Where it's telling me to go. I should I have said Mayday or something, and then it would let me go. you are not cleared to land. Clear the runway. All right, already. Wow. That's KH three seven seven contact ground on one two one decimal three five. He sounds really pissed off, but whatever. One two one decimal three five for KH three seven seven. We needed to get off uh, out of the air and off onto the ground. That was just going Tap on for too long. KH377 taxi to parking. KH377 seven, taxi to general aviation parking by a taxiway whiskey for whiskey Victor Tree. Victor Yankee Juliet to Juliet cross runway one right Juliet. All right. So taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway whiskey for whiskey Victor Tree Victor Yankee Juliet to Juliet cross runway one right Juliet KH377. I wonder if people are screwing around and causing people to have to go around and stuff for, you know, griefing of some kind? I don't know. Anyway... It just seemed like it should... It, I should have been able to land. Uh, should not have been a problem. This is definitely one of the craziest flights I've had. I don't usually fly that high up. And then I usually don't get air traffic control pissed off at me. I usually don't have so much trouble 
finding my way into the landing pattern. Of course, this time it was made complicated because of um, just being told to go around. I've never had to do that before. I don't know, why is there always a truck in the way? Hmm. That's strange. Alright, well, we'll just wind our way around here. Now, in real life, I would probably be fined by the FAA for landing without clearance or something. You see, there's all these people around. I think people are screwing around or something, trying to get people to have trouble landing. I've seen a bunch of <coughs> people moving in funny directions and things, so I don't know. This is a long way to get to parking. KH-377, hold position, caution, the Beechcraft King Air on the runway. Hold position where? Hold position KH-377. Where though? Right here? Roger KH-377. Catholic Ground Beechcraft Golf Alpha Juliet 828 request taxi to parking. Golf Alpha Juliet 828 Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Charlie 4 Charlie Golf 1 Golf. This seems like a supremely busy airport. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Charlie 4 Charlie Golf 1 Golf Beachcraft 828. Yeah, it seems like there's certain people who keep circling around. I don't know if it's because they had the same trouble landing I did, because I was doing a lot of circling around. <coughs> but it also makes me wonder if they're just trying to mess with people. It could possibly be. All right, let's slow this down. Let's actually get in here. Perfect. Parking brake. And we don't need to be told about that. Warning, okay. And turn off the engines. So, welcome to Tampa, Florida. The local time is 1.33 p.m. Oh, the 360 or the Xbox controller did turn off, okay. Maybe they've solved that problem. Okay, what are these warnings now? Fuel pressure, oil pressure, pipe de-ice on. Oh, right, that needs to be turned off. Okay, what else? Okay, just the fact that the engine's off. Okay, turn the plane off. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.